Well, I was happy with our team. It's you know, it's a it's a good start. It's the way we were supposed to start. It's uh, what you would say mission accomplished. We came out and, and played football and executed the way we should execute. Um, we didn't do everything right. We have a lot of things to, to work on and, and uh, get better at here in a short period of time, getting ready for next week's game. But when you, when you control the line of scrimmage like our defense did and run to the ball, I, I was proud of our defense. I think we had six three and outs and you know, they maybe had what one first down in the first half. So it was a good job of coming out of the, the locker room and playing good defense. Offensively, I thought we started slow, having to use two timeouts because of substitutions. We'll certainly get that corrected. Uh, we threw the ball well and caught the ball well. Um, we have some work to do in the run game. Everybody understands that. But uh, I don't feel too bad about it because everything they did was to blitz to stop the run. And when you do that, you just throw the ball more. So that, that was where we were able to make our plays. And then you can't say enough about our punt return team and Joe Adams and everybody on it that was were blocking. And you know, Markwell Wade had some great blocks on the punt return team. So. That was a real nice job by Joe. Questions? Yeah, just, just what you think about Joe's performance overall? Have you ever seen a guy return two kickoffs or two punt returns? I've never been involved in it with the guy returning two, I don't believe, for, for touchdowns like that. Uh, you know, and the one was real crazy because it you know, looked like the ball was going to be recovered by them, and then we picked it up, and he reversed field a couple times. But, you know, he's a tremendous athlete. We decided to put two guys back there because both of them are real good punt returners. I think it helped us because it got us started. You know, um, Marquell always made a good block and got Joe started on his return. It's amazing some of the run, the runs that he made. Not even just the two scores, but he had some other good punt returns. Were you surprised that they kept kicking to him after the first one? No, I didn't even think about it. You know, I, I wasn't thinking about what they were doing. I was thinking about who we were blocking, who was forcing the punt. So. You know, you're mainly just concerned about yourself. How do you think Tyler played? I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought he was very poised, very under control, and, and really understood what we wanted to get done, and threw the ball well and distributed well. I think there was one, um, you know, time in the in the critical zone or the red zone where I thought we had two touchdown passes, and he, he kind of moved too soon in the pocket, and he didn't have to. But then he came back and showed his toughness and competitive spirit. And, maybe his stupidity in diving in the air and, and landing on his head. So we, we have to get a little bit better than that and understand that we're not going to do that. We're going to, you know, get the touchdowns there, we'll take it. If not, we'll get on the ground and protect ourselves. Jerry Strong had a pretty hot hand tonight, too. Yeah, he's a, he's a real good player. He's real fast. And that first touchdown catch he made, that was a tremendous catch. And, and the second one was, too, you know, to keep his foot in bounds. So. You know, we, we know that how the offense works, that guys are going to take turns having their game and their big game, and certainly with Jarius is tonight. Tell me the defense overall tonight. I was happy. I, you know, I was really happy. I thought, first of all, we controlled the line of scrimmage, and we really looked fast. You know, we looked fast on the edges with, uh, you know, Tenarius Wright and Beckett and Chris Smith. I thought we really controlled the edges. I was happy with uh, High Smith. You know, he showed up and flashed to me on – his ability to run and tackle, and then you know to be able to rotate those guys inside and have the, the depth that we have inside, I think really helps us. Coach Smith, a couple of young guys on the offensive line. How do you think they did? Well, you always have to watch video to really know how offensive linemen did. We had a couple errors in, in our protection and got the quarterback hit a couple times. I don't know right now if it was the tackle's fault or the guard not covering the gap he's supposed to. Uh, but we, we don't accept getting our quarterback hit. That's something we cannot do. And then we'll have to watch the video and see how they did in the run game. Greg Childs had his first catch since that Vanderbilt game. Good yeah, he had a couple of them, and he, you know, he did a nice job. He's hungry. He wants to get in there and, and get more touches, but he, he just needs to be patient. I really thought he took huge strides forward the last two weeks uh, prior to our, our opener. And you know, got better and better each day, and faster and faster, and getting back to looking like Greg. Is Cody Walker is he your goal line guy? Uh, he was in there tonight. You know, he did a nice job. He's gonna have to get his pads down a little bit. You know, he's a big man. He's very strong, uh, but he did take two pretty good shots just because he's got his pads high. And he, you know, I heard him say, "We we tell him every day, run lower." So he'll, he'll get it. Brandon Mitchell's time in the game. What do you think about that? Yeah, a little bit inconsistent. You 
you know, I thought he executed well at times, and at times he, you know, he miscalled a couple plays, which really hurt him, hurt his ability to drive, and uh, made a couple nice throws. Uh, one thing that Brandon is, you know, I don't expect him to miscall plays because he's very intelligent, really knows our offense, and you know, but it was great to get him in there and get that many reps and that much work. As you guys have goals building and building for the season, did you get initially your thoughts? Did you get accomplished tonight what you wanted to get accomplished? Yeah, I thought it was mission accomplished. I thought we came out and, you know, got to go through a lot of preparation on how you prepare for a game, how the practice week goes, what we do on Thursday, what we do on Friday, what we do on Saturday, which is great for the young guys. And we saw a lot of leadership in our preparation from our vets, which is good to see. And we took the field ready to play. And then, uh, you know, played pretty well. The young guys got a lot of valuable reps tonight, too, that will pay off later on. Yeah, definitely. Anytime you get in there and get experience and, and uh, get out there in front of a crowd like that, you know, you'll get better the next time you play. I know you haven't seen the tape yet, but is there anything you want to correct before next Saturday? Well, I mean, I, I think we're going to see a lot of things we have to get corrected. You know, when you when you watch the tape, uh, but first and foremost is the substitution issues, and you know that should never happen. We we have those plays scripted. We go through them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, I think it was just a little lack of, of uh, communication coming off the sideline, calling out what personnel group's supposed to be on there. Uh, we got to make sure that we get that correct. Okay, thank you, coach. All right, thank you.